Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it is Friday, yes indeed, here we are again and I hope everyone's going to have an awesome weekend. Right, today we're doing Panelisa and we are doing this one. So this was shared in the hall two days ago and we are making this one. So this panel here, I have tried to be prepared and I'll go through all the bits as I do them. Right, so I have cut that panel in a sage green cardstock and it's very grey here, so please excuse the lighting. And then I've placed it onto a white panel which is five and a half by five and a quarter. So that's what we've done first. I'll try and get that into camera. Now you get various bits and pieces. You get a banner which comes in three pieces. So you just glue your tails onto the actual banner and I've prepared mine and mine looks like this. Oh dearie me, yes, it's almost uh, almost night outside by the looks of it. Let's get this up. That's probably the best I'm going to do. Hang on, I'm just going to pause and try and adjust my camera. Right, I think I've got it now, <laughs> she says hopefully. So I've stamped from an old sentiment stamp and put just put just for you onto there. So that's that piece. And then I have done this flower, which comes in three pieces. So you'll cut that one out. That one layers on top. And this one gets sandwiched in between them. So I'll share that one with you because I've glued it together. That's what that piece looks like. The next piece is the large flower and you need to cut two of these and then you cut one of these. Now don't forget all of these pieces, they're so lovely, they can stand alone. I mean look how big that flower is and that will go on there but you cut two pieces of your flower. So just getting my nails under them. There is the first piece and there is your layering piece. Now I'm hoping I'm going to sort of like fluff my top layer up a bit. So you're going to need two pieces and one center. And then next up you're going to need three of these which comes as two sets of leaves. And you can choose whatever colors that you want to. And so I'm just pulling these apart. And so I've done three sets of leaves and I've chosen a darker green. All of this cardstock is from Joanne. And then you get this set of little flowers and I haven't poked those bits out yet. And they reminded me of forget-me-nots. And as you can see, I've actually cut mine in blue and you're gonna need one large and two small. But then again, as they're standalone, you could even turn this into a lilac or a hydrangea if you wanted to. So mine are in a lovely powder blue. So we have those. And then you're going to need three of these flowers and you get centers. So you've already got your three centers, which cut out easy, but you need to cut out three of those. And those look like this. So I've glued the centers down into those. And then you will get a set of berries and you get the layering pieces for the berries. So if you cut two of those and two of those, that's what you need. And I have done mine in the darker shade of green, like those big leaves, and I've just popped white berries onto mine. Yeah, there we go. So I've got little white berries because I just thought that would tie into my white background. And then you also get this leaf and I've cut that in the same colour as the background plate die and you're going to need two of those. So we've got two of those. And you also get this piece and I totally forgot to cut it 
but never mind I don't think you're going to notice but that is the back stamen for uh, the cup shaped flower so if I just go underneath there and grab that one you would cut that out and it would go onto there so you know or you could put it that way around it's entirely up to you but I don't think you're going to notice the way I'm doing stuff today right so those are all the bits and this is my little bit of organization and now the way they get layered up has to go in order so your dark green leaves will go down first so if you look at your die you can see things have been cut out so that you know where they go so I'm just going to pop these in they should fit within your stitching lines trying to find where they are remember you've got big ones so I might be confused here and I'm picking that one up and I believe that one goes there so you can see all of the pieces on the die that are kind of cut away like leaves and that one will go there so what I intend to do is pop down what needs popping down I believe that's a big one that goes there and I'll grab my small one so I cut all my nails off in rediment for the weekend and we've got that one there and I'm just trying to think I can see one here and then I can see one here so as you see those you know if you're making one yourself you can just pause I'm going to glue those exactly there and I will be right back okay so those leaves are glued on and the next thing we need to pop down is our berries and on each of them you can see you've got your design uh, for where they need to go so there's only two of those so we can do those quite quickly she says as long as she takes a pin out of the glue bottle <laughs> right let's go so just a little dot and a little dot down there just to finish that off and then you want to pop your berries over on your stitched line so that's that berry down and then you can see that the next one has got its stitching detail there so we're going to pop that one down make sure I get that on straight just clean my glue up so that's our berries onto there and then next you start to see we've got the uh, cup flower so I'm going to go with that one onto there now you can if you want to uh, pop these on foam pads if you want a bit of dimension and I think I might actually do that with a big center flower I'm not um, entirely sure yet but I've gone down on my stitching line so let's have a look there because I want it to be straight down just a little bit there so there we've got our cup flower in there and then now I want to pop in my I'm calling them forget-me-nots and so I'm kind of just like looking at the shape of what I've got here and you can see that there's a little bit of overhang there and there's a little bit of overhang there with your stitching hope you can see that so you just need to match up your little flowers to that so I'm just going in the center there and then I'm just trying to remember which way around I had them let's have a look I think I had them that way didn't I yeah I'm pretty sure that's it so we've got our first little forget-me-not down 
and then we've got the larger forget-me-not which will go down here and cover that little stitch section there and go part way across your leaf so what I want to do because the um, other shape leaf goes underneath this I haven't put any glue on the last flower so I'm just matching that into the stitch in there and I'm placing that down and I'm wondering if I've got that in the right position I don't think I have so I'm just moving that up I can see I've got another piece of flower here yeah that doesn't seem right to me but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go there and wipe my glue away right I'm just gonna commit to being there why not and then I do have another piece of forget-me-not and I can see that this piece goes here so if I follow the stitch line there it will go there just like that so I'm going to dodge that one it's quite nice it's like doing a bit of a jigsaw puzzle actually I used to love jigsaw puzzles. I'm going to start digressing now. <laughs> yeah, I used to get really upset when I was looking for a piece and somebody would just walk over and just put it straight there. Oh, after I'd been looking for several years, you know what I mean? Right, that one goes there like that. So, just a few dots of glue. I'm going to line that up. You see, I made the error there of gluing um, this last one down because that flower should have gone over the green leaf. So we're all well within our stitchy lines there. And we've got that one down. And then you can see that there is stitching here, which is where this one will go. And that one will go on there like that and then our next layer is going to be the small flowers so we have one that goes here I think I'm just going to move that around yeah I'm pretty sure that one goes there like that so that's where mine's going anyway you can choose where these go because uh, there's no stitching for this particular one so I'm gonna go there but there is some stitching here for this one so I need to match this one up so I'm looking at the various shapes here and if I just maneuver it around that will go there go up a bit there we go that one goes to there and then we've got a third one which is going to go about there because once again there's no stitching for this so it's entirely up to you where you decide to put it so I'm going with a little blob of glue right in the middle and I'm going to put it there yeah that's what I'm doing and then a piece de resistance no I do not speak French is this one so I can see the stitch line below it there so I'm gonna go there with this one 
and I am going to glue this but I want to pop the other one up on foam so we've got quite a little bit of you know sort of maneuvering for this one I want to be within my stitchy lines and I don't want to press too hard because remember when you've got glue um, on your paper and you're gluing on top of other things you don't want those you know ugly paper bulges coming from underneath and that can happen to me a lot because as you know my humidity right so if I cap off my glue now and I hope this has been good and instructional yes I do I've got some foam tape here that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use what have I got on my desk I'm just going to use this sharpie pen and I just want to add you know just a little bit of structure onto that top flower so that's all I'm doing just curling up the edges just a little bit and then I want a little piece of foam tape I'll just grab my scissors and I'm going to go in the centre so I'm actually going to pull that off while I've got it and pop it onto there and now it's a matter of finagling how you want your flower because of course you want your petals to, um, to cross over so I think I'm just going to go like that yeah I already peeled the back off didn't I so before I commit I just want to make sure that it's central and it is and there you have it isn't that great now that's my first time making one so once you've made one it's going to be easy but whatever colour you want to do it in it's going to make a great awesome card especially if you want to get your watercolours out and you know do the leaves all autumnal and sort of some flower yellows and browns and you're going to be able to put happy thanksgiving instead of just for you and where i'm going to put my sentiment i don't know i think i'm just going to put it down here right at the bottom and hopefully it's in the center i'm just looking at that well i'm committed now yeah so there you have it and i do thank you so much for joining me today once again i apologize for my lighting but there was nothing i could do about it that's nature for you have an absolutely awesome weekend and i will be back again on monday with more from panelisa as usual all links below bye